Today's Machnav 100 seminar, Machnav 6, is bringing to a close a series of six seminars which I have organized over the past two years in Oris and Uktron. We sought to reflect on the seminal events and their social basis too that would later result in the birth of the Irish Republic. In our consideration, we were conscious of the rules of memory, history, and imagination in the task of ethical commemoration. In doing so, we were respecting the inherent complexity as well as the inevitable aspects of contestation that such a consideration may suggest. Far from seeking to achieve a single perspective, we sought drawing on new and refreshed research and publication to lay out a factual framework in as inclusive a way as possible. This final Montlef seminar provides an opportunity for reflection, looking back across all five seminars. Over the past two years, these seminars have examined a wide range of subjects, such as the challenges of public commemorations, including empire, instincts, interests, power and resistance, land, social class, gender, and sources of violence. We sought to cover the experience from below, as well as constitutional, institutional, and ideological foundations, complexity, and contestation. The seminars have intentionally encompassed a wide breadth of historiographical subject matter, and have had contributions from an equally wide and diverse group of experts to whom I am profoundly grateful. Today, as before, I have invited leading scholars with diverse experience and perspectives to share their insights on the context and events of that formative period of a century ago. And if they wish to make a reflection on the nature of the act of commemoration itself. The motivation in convening Machnav 100 has been to tackle with authenticity the complexity of the period, to participate in the investigation of motives, tease out social contexts, including those perhaps insufficiently acknowledged from below. Our purpose was not the assertion of definitive conclusions, rather to leave the matters adequately open. Our efforts are aimed at understanding, understanding in relation to the past, which I hope may assist us in addressing our present and future challenges on this, our shared island. <clears throat> may I thank once more Dr. John Bowman for chairing these seminars and for the outstanding job he has done throughout. And may I also pay special thanks to Professor Garo Dothuhik for his invaluable advice and assistance over the past two years. May I thank to those who agreed to participate in today's final Machna 100 seminar by providing original papers on various aspects of this period under examination. We are fortunate to have with us distinguished and remarkable contributors. Today's principal address will be provided by author and historian Professor Declan Kybert of the University of Notre Dame and University College Dublin. Responses will be made by cultural theorist and practitioner, film producer Lilia Doolan, academic Professor Angela Burke of University College Dublin, Fergal Keane, author and journalist with the BBC. My own address will be entitled 1922, the most significant year question. As to our previous seminars, our inaugural seminar held in December 2020 examined the nature and concept of commemoration itself in the context of today and of the national and global events of a century ago. Speakers included Professors Kieron Benson, Anne Dolan, Michael Laffin, and Joop Learson, and myself. And together we set our intentions for what we were hoping to achieve from this series. In February of last year, I hosted the second seminar, which focused on empire, imperial attitudes and responses as they related to circumstances in Ireland. The main reflection was given by Professor John Horne, with responses from Professor Eunan O'Halpin, Dr. Mary Coleman, Professor Alvin Jackson, Dr. Neve Gallagher and myself. The third Machnav of 100 seminar took place in May last year and was entitled Recovering Reimagined Futures. This seminar focused on issues of land, social class, gender and the sources of violence and speakers included Dr. Marisha Callaghan, 
Agnes Katrina Crow, Dr. John Cunningham, Dr. Katrina Clare, Professor Linda Connolly, and myself. The fourth seminar took place in November last year, focusing on the truce, the treaty, and partition. Its own, Professor Jim Ferreter of University College Dublin, provided the principal address, and respondents, in addition to myself, included Professors Mary Daly and Margaret Kelleher, both of University College Dublin, Dr. Dahlia Coron of Dublin City University, and Professor Fargal McGarry of Queen's University, Belfast. Our penultimate seminar, held in May this year, Consider the constitutional, institutional and ideological foundations of the emerging Irish state a century ago. The principal address was provided by Professor Brendan O'Leary of the University of Pennsylvania, with responses from Professor Henry Patterson of the University of Ulster, Professor Lindsay Erna Byrne of University College Cork, Dr. Theresa Reedy also of University College Cork and myself. All of these previous papers, as you have heard, are available to view on the Machen of 100 section of the President of Ireland website. And may I take this opportunity to thank RTE for hosting the entire series on the RTE player, which has ensured a wide, indeed global audience. I hope that you find Machen of 6, our final seminar, thought-provoking, perhaps even challenging and above all a reminder that the work which we have undertaken over these six seminars represents an invitation to history, which, when its complexity and fullness is respected, can make such a valuable contribution to the vital task that is ethical commemoration. Fáilte Rovilliach, Buen Tiánavas and Seminar.